Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's getting real now, boys. What a hot day. What a hot day it has turned into. Sorry, sorry. I 100% don't recommend this because I gotta like put my arm underneath it just to kind of flick it around and shift and stuff. So, no, not safe. But we're going about two miles, so we'll be right. A few minutes later. I will literally wait 20 minutes in line at Whataburger for my damn patty melt. Because there is no patty melt like a Whataburger patty melt. It's a good old tasty extra patty and extra cheese. Oh, yeah, I can taste it already. Ooh. Really had to come all the way home because literally had to come all the way home for this. My shop keys. I almost want to pull it out of the box. It's so big. Oh baby, yeah yeah. I'm basically a pickup truck now. Yeah. Here it is, the speed bump that I always bottom out on. And I'm only on springs. Hey, only did it a little bit. I don't know if you could even hear that. But that was good. A few minutes later. We're gonna see if the alternator and battery are still alive. It's been about two weeks, and a button in here doesn't work, so I have to unlock one of the doors or trunk, but they should all unlock when I unlock one, so let's see. Ready? Ready? Nope, it's dead. Alright, let's see if I can pull this out of here. Pretty well in there. Well, also 25 pounds. So, yeah. I'm over here justifying spending 20 minutes in the drive-thru for Whataburger. They don't give me a straw. I gotta drink like this. Like a freaking simp. It just doesn't taste the same not coming in a straw, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit boys, this is it! I messed up right there. Oh. Oh. Let's see, what's the best way to, uh, well, that's probably a good. And put this down before I slice my freaking hand open, because I will do that. But even though I am more than excited to open up this box and show you just what I got, it's finally time to use, the... sorry, it's finally time to put to use the bumper removal. Okay, alright, okay, okay, got, got two of these, <laughs> thank you Battle Arrow, 100% thank you for really packaging my product, you got paper, you got plastic, you have a Double thick box? I mean... <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna set this over here. Got more paper. You guys even taped it to the inside of the box. I don't think it gets any better than that. You gotta take this all in. <laughs> you gotta take this all in. It's so shiny. <laughs> Here it is. The 70 inch deck. 
to my chassis mount wing. <laughs> oh, perfect. This is what we're gonna use to mount it. <laughs> yep, right there. Just like that. Actually, there's a little bit of room still. That's gonna be toy. It's gonna be toy. I love unboxing new toys, don't you? Oh, oh, and it smells like paint. Oh, it's so fresh. Made to order. Delicious. So, since I already pulled out all of this trimming and stuff on the inside of the trunk, which, by the way, freaking sucks, um, <laughs> I can actually really easily, well, one's on under there, which that's not really a big deal. And then the other one is here, and they just come out on the other side. So, you know, really simply, you just bolt that guy right on there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, got those guys on. We're doing it without the bumper for now. Um, may or may not put the bumper on after this, I'm not sure. But uh, essentially the bumper would just slide through here and uh, it has two bolts that would also run through there that you would just run the nuts through on the other side. So you, you know, if you're running the bumper, you don't need these. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do it without for now because I wanna make it look drifty and cool. <laughs> and also, just so you know, make sure you get everything out of your trunk, because you're not going to be opening that sucker anymore. <laughs> That's irrelevant. We don't, talk about, we don't talk about them trunks anymore. No trunk game. All right. We're going to need this guy. Now that guy's going to go in there. Now that's basically going to help keep everything sturdy when you know you're hauling ass making all that downforce so since this was too long went ahead and took a bit of a handsaw cut it down a little bit and uh, you can actually see where I use this leverage to snap a little bit of, off, of it off but uh yeah I'm gonna take a little bit of a chisel take a chisel to it and uh come on now folks yeah I'm gonna take a chisel to it and we will be all set all right got the little support beam thrown through the middle. Alright, actually it might even be perfectly even on either side. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. It does move ever so slightly, and I'm talking like ever so slightly to the side, but it's gonna do that. Well now that I have the wing placed in a way that I like the angle, uh, we're ready to go ahead and crank it on down. Alright, wing is officially on, and there's an issue. The actual little wings, I don't know if they're wings or fins or whatever you want to call them. <sighs> Let me just show you. Of course it would be all the way at the end of the job too, but uh... Let me line up those holes for you. Holes are lined up and... They are not in the same spots. So the wing looks like doo-doo when you put them on there because one of them sits way back and the other one barely sits flush. But I mean otherwise everything everything's great. I love it. I think it looks super mean and aggressive. So again once those are on there it'll change the whole look but for now I'm super happy with it. And next you know we'll trim up the rear bumper, get it cut up here and we'll get We'll get that mounted. <laughs> it looks mean. So I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. 